Hello, this is Espresso Sloth with part 1 of a speed paint using Mia Imi Jelly Gouaches. I begin by setting a timer and blocking in the figure with a red pencil, going from envelope to gesture to build up the body's form and details. My roommate recently introduced me to a website called Shein to update my work wardrobe, and everything is very cute and fits well, but I did get very ill at work the first day I wore it. I use a simple one-point perspective to keep emphasis on the outfit. Then I tighten up my lines with graphite pencil, because the red is water-soluble. This lets my undersketch be more free and experimental, while my graphite is more confident. Here's my paints and the brushes that came with them brush cleaner, water cups, brushes I'll be using, and tea. I do try to mix colors on screen, but at times I did forget. This is a tea wash of brown and cyan to seal the sketch and create a more interesting ground. If you do not know what a tea wash is, I suggest you search for a wonderful video by Mary Sanchez about the tea to butter method. Because my colors will be more cool, I wore my wash with some orange then dab it away with some tissue. A makeup brush cleaner and mini hair dryer are very convenient tools for a speed paint. I've mixed a dull blue into my wash to add quick values to some areas. This is called a no-tan study and will guide my color mixing as I go along. It's still translucent, but when I tried to add white, I had to make a thicker mixture to actually lighten each stroke. This is the difference between gouache, watercolor, and acrylic. Sometimes, the differences in pigments will change the opacity. I don't want anything going on in the bottom right corner of the page, so I deliberately put a dark gradient to lead the eye back into the painting towards the figure. Just a couple more details, and we can start painting the background. I wanted the emphasis to be on the outfit, so I make the background desaturated and relatively monotone. When painting, you want to work from the background to midground to foreground, because if you go into reverse, you will risk overpainting your edges. I'm using a flat angle brush to cut in edges cleanly. I pick my values based on what I want the focus to be. I want to emphasize the details of the light shirt, so having a dark background will show the silhouette more, even if it's not true to the actual scene. If you're drawing to express an idea, it can be better to take some liberties to communicate clearly. I tint my darker values and block in my midtones. I can scrub the edges where I want to blend from light to dark to make smooth gradients. Midtones take up most of the image because I want plenty of space between my highlights and shadows. Note that the shadows aren't actually too dark, and the highlights aren't that white. I can save those for the navy shirt and white blouse. Gouache is matte, so when it dries, it will reflect and absorb light differently than when it is wet. Lighter colors will darken, and darker colors will lighten. Again, I'll add the light next to the dark where I want the most focus and details to be. I need the emphasis to be on the figure's silhouette, so I clean up any spots where the background isn't covering the figure's edges by blending with a clean brush. With this, the background is relatively complete. Next time, I'll talk a little bit more about myself. I'll be seeing you soon.